Hello everyone, I'm Robbe from Robbe Productions. This is my first video, so please be a little bit gentle. I'm going to try and upload every week. I make videos because I'm interested in technology. I wanted to share this passion and my uh, knowledge with you guys. I'm going to make uh, unboxings and first impressions video. Afterwards, uh, probably some reviews of products, maybe some comparisons between one another. I'm also going to make some how-to videos on Android, iOS, macOS, Windows and comparisons between them. So uh, please subscribe if that's are things that are interesting to you. I hope you're gonna enjoy it. So today we are going to make an unboxing and first impressions video of the Corsair K100 mechanical gaming keyboard. I have the one with the optical switch in it. Let's get into it. So uh, the Corsair K100 keyboard is of course a keyboard from Corsair. It has uh, six programmable uh, function keys and a function knob uh, that you can spin around and uh, it's also compatible to integrate with Elgato software for uh, the live streams and such. It has a volume wheel media keys, it has a numpad on the uh, right of it. The optical switch mean that they uh, do not activate mechanically but there is a laser light inside of it and when uh, a part of the key or the switch actually passes that light that uh, counts as an actuation so you can uh, change the actuation point a little bit in the software. The optical switches of Corsair have a 45 gram actuation force and are a linear switch. Corsair Exxon uh, CPU has a 4000 Hz pulling rate, USB pulling rate. Uh, that means that right now at the point of filming it is the fastest gaming keyboard on the market with the lowest input latency of 0.25 milliseconds. It has an 8 megabyte uh, onboard storage but the, with the new way that Corsair saves the profiles into the uh, keyboard that means that there is a place for 200 custom profiles on the keyboard. It has a USB to pass through uh, port on the back. It has um, full anti-aliasing and N-key rollover. Let's get into it. So the first thing we get presented with of course is the keyboard with a nice plastic cover. If you are uh, really freaky about keeping it clean you can always put the plastic cover back on after you used it. But I don't think that that is for many of us. Oh it is uh, very heavy, it feels very quality and uh, it's a very heavy keyboard. Damn. It has a nice thick braided USB cable. And as always with the Corsair keyboards uh, with USB pass through, there are two USB cords for uh, mitigating the latency that the chip on the keyboard does not have to think about the USB pass through, but it is just a connection for the, U the keyboard and a connection for the USB pass through. Uh, so I said that's fairly thick and nice cable. Uh, these cables have uh, also nice looking ends and uh, the ends of the cable also indicates if the, it is the USB cable for the keyboard like you see with the pictogram on the cable or the USB end for the USB pass through. At the back you uh, can see the USB pass-through port, like earlier it's just USB 2.0, but for plugging in a mouse or uh, charging some mobile device it uh, won't be an issue. I've always used the tactile switch before, now I'm uh, using a clicky switch and uh, this is fairly linear, but actually I... I I kind of like the feel of the linear switch. This wheel has a nice click to it. Not very clear, but you can feel when uh, 
you're going to a next profile or a page or something. Yeah, nice uh, buttons. Here you can see the function keys and uh, here it has a nice glass piece at the top with the functioning lights uh, in there to indicate which profile you're, you're on or if your num numlock is on or off. So uh, let's put this to the side and uh, look what else is in the box. In here we also have uh, a yellow box where we have a quick start guide, some warranty guides, just some uh, boring paperwork. So uh, let's put it back. Inside of the box we also have some other keycaps. A nice heavy leather wrist rest. It's uh, not that handy that the box does not uh, open. Okay, so here we have some different keycaps and a keycap puller and a heavy thick leather wrist rest of Corsair. This uh, like you can see a fairly thick and uh, soft wrist rest that uh, would make the gaming and typing a lot more comfortable. In the past Corsair used plastic clips to uh, put on the keyboard, put to attach to the keyboard, but that uh, those could break off fairly easily. But now it is uh, with magnets that it's uh, attached to, to the keyboard. Inside of this bag uh, we have the WASD keys curved uh, so it is uh, easy to feel them and not slip off with your fingers while gaming. And also some uh, other keys for other types of games. So uh, let's attach this wrist rest to the keyboard. So that's on and uh, besides being with magnets it's uh, held on very strong. But when you want to deattach it, it also comes off very easy. On the back side of the keyboard you have some uh, cable routing channels. So uh, you can keep your wire of your mouse or headset or microphone or something uh, nice cable managed be, um, underneath the keyboard. You have uh, stands for adjusting the height and angle of the keyboard with uh, two types of adjustment here. I'm gonna leave it on this one for now. Let's uh, plug in the keyboard to the computer and uh, see what it does for uh, the first time when we turn it on. See that we uh, take the right USB cable, this one. Okay, so uh, now the keyboard is attached to my computer. I will uh, dim the lights for a second and uh, then we can uh, clearly see what the RGB looks like. So this is what the RGB looks like right now. It's uh, going pretty crazy in uh, this startup stage. You have also some RGB lighting on the side of the keyboard. And on the back there is also a light strip that uh, reflects on the table. Looks uh, pretty nice, modern. And, uh... Let's see what it does in the Cursor IQ software. So in the uh, software I can see my keyboard. I can uh, set up the actions of the function keys. I can make a library with actions. Maybe I already had some actions of a previous keyboard or of a mouse. In the lighting effects it's now a rainbow wave, but uh, you can change it probably to whatever you like. Change the speed, the direction that it flows. and. Uh, there are a lot of presets in here that uh, you can choose off. But uh, I'm gonna leave it on the rainbow wave right now. And uh, you can also make uh, some custom profiles of the lighting, put keys into specific spots that you uh, would like them to be. Then you can uh, also put some uh, settings to the control wheel. These are pre. Um, 
set settings. You can also connect the wheel to the Elgato streaming software, maybe to uh, use it as a uh, nice addition to a stream deck or something. And uh, you can also put some uh, onboard profiles on the keyboard. Just to quickly note, I have now connected the keyboard to my MacBook, so it may behave a little bit differently when you connect it to a PC. And uh, also the software here is, I guess, for what I've seen on my uh, desktop, a little bit different from what it is on Windows. So uh, now I will quickly type something on the keyboard and uh, see how it feels. feels very nice, the keys are fairly light so it's gonna have a little bit of getting used to for me but uh, yeah, yeah I uh, it's very good feeling and I thought I would uh, be more upset with not having a tactile keyboard but there is a nice clear feeling and a linear feeling to the key and it sounds pretty nice and uh, when it comes down it's uh, I don't know I just like it it is a little bit getting used to because the keys are much more lighter than my tactile I correct me my uh, clicky G915 uh, keyboard that I have but uh, I guess it is a nice upgrade and a cool addition to my setup the volume wheel feels pretty nice and uh, a lot better than the one of Logitech, if I can be honest. Uh, so no, it's nice, I like it. I will uh, now put on the other keycaps just to uh, see what how that goes and uh, I guess I will leave them on also. I will uh, turn on the lights again. And even with the lighting on, okay you don't see the light reflections on the table but uh, the keyboard lighting is very bright and uh, you can also see it in a very highly lit environment because I have uh, big studio lights in here. Let's open up this package. So I have uh, the WASDs. those come off really easy. And also while typing it's not annoying that these keys are curved the way they are for the for the making it easier to play a game but I can uh, already feel that it is uh, very nice to have this uh, concave to the keys to uh, keep my fingers on better. Also this wrist rest is very comfortable it gets a little bit warm and maybe a little bit sweaty on the palm of my hands but it feels uh, very nice. I'm uh, very happy with this keyboard and uh, I will go ahead and uh, plug it into my uh, desktop PC, game on it for uh, a few days, two weeks and uh, then I uh, guess I will make a review of the keyboard after a uh, few weeks I've used it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, it was uh, very nice making this video. I hope you enjoyed it. In case of that, please press the like button and subscribe because there are more videos come to my channel. I guess after this I will uh, post a video about the Oppo Watch and uh, after that I uh, have a video about the uh, uh, Logitech G502 mouse uh, light speed uh, in the pipeline and also an unboxing of uh, Aorus Wi-Fi card with uh, Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5.2. Please click the bell icon so you get notified when I uh, upload the video. Leave a comment down below about what you think of the video and uh, if you're interested to buy the K100 keyboard I guess. Thanks and uh, goodbye.